Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get £175 for free. And all it's going to take is 10 minutes of your time. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so that you never miss a video. I make loads of videos showing you guys exactly how you can make a bit of extra money, save a bit of extra money, and just basically become financially stable in the quickest and easiest ways possible. Right, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So what you're probably wondering is how on earth am I going to get £175 for doing absolutely nothing? Well, it's simple really. All you've got to do is switch your current account to a different current account. Now, you're probably still wondering how is this going to get me a free £175? But basically, how the high street banks work is that they're always trying to entice new customers. To do this, they offer things like higher interest rates to new customers or possibly cash incentives like the one we're going to look at today. And all you've got to do is switch from your existing bank account to this new one. Now something to be aware of, pretty much all the bank accounts in the UK don't really offer any rewards for long-term customers that have been with one bank for a long period of time, like you might expect. They rather focus on getting new customers rather than retaining the existing customers. Say you got persuaded to get a bank account because of such a high interest rate. After about a year or so, that will have probably dropped to a fraction of what you were getting. So pretty much all these incentives will only last about a year. So it's just good to be aware of that. So there's not really any point in staying longer than a year with your existing bank account. So you can make the most of high interest rates and cash incentives for switching. Now you might be thinking, I really can't be bothered with that. It seems like a lot of effort and I don't have the time. Or you might like the current online banking service that you're using with that bank, or you like the app or whatever. But it only takes about 10 minutes to do. And at the end of this video, I'll basically show you guys how you can switch your current account without really having to use it at all. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so the best way of finding the uh, best switching offers out there at the moment is to head on to moneysavingexpert.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. It's a really great website that I'm always recommending and it's a really good one to become familiar with so that you always know the best offers that are out there. Okay, so once you're on the website, head on to banking and saving and then come down to the best bank accounts and then you'll see top with free switching bonuses. Now click on that and now just to be aware that all these are changing every single day. So you always have to make sure that you check what offers are on at the moment using Money Saving Expert and don't just assume that there's still an offer going which was on a month ago because it may not be the case and it's always worth checking. Okay, so now let's look at an example. So at the moment, this HSBC current account is the best at the moment. It offers £175 switching bonus. So they'll give you £175 just for switching. Plus, once you've opened your current account, you'll then be able to open a parallel savings account to run alongside your current account, which will give you 5% interest for a year, which is a really good interest rate. Now, one of the things you need to understand about making the most out of these switching perks is that you have to prove that you're using this current account as your main current account. So you can have multiple bank accounts set up, but you need to prove that this is your primary one. So usually this means that you have to pay in a certain amount of money to it a month. They also usually want to have direct debits transferred across onto this account. Usually it's around two direct debits. So if you don't have any direct debits set up, you could set up a direct debit for your mobile phone or your credit card. And if you don't have a credit card, watch one of my other videos and make sure that you get one because they're not something you want to miss out on. So with this one, you need to pay in £1,750 per month. So this will basically be your salary. Now you'll always need to make sure that you'll actually be able to pay in enough money every month to be eligible for that free £175 of cash. But if you're not getting as much as £1,750 a month, then just look into the other options. There are different ones out there for different income levels. So just have a look for yourself. So now before you get this new account, make sure that your direct debits are set up on your existing current account and you're getting paid into that current account as well. So you've got all the things ready for when you start up this new account and switch it over. Now you can start setting up your new HSBC account, for example, and you can do this all online. So just follow their instructions and it should take only about 10 minutes. For some banks, you may have to go into the shop, but that's very unlikely. Now, once you've got your new account set up, you're then ready to initiate the switch. And how this works is that they use a switch guarantee, which basically does it all for you. You just have to put in your old bank account details and your new ones, and it will just basically transfer all your direct debits and payments and stuff across to your new one. But in the process, it will shut down your old account. So you just need to be aware of that. So this usually takes about seven working days, or you can also pick a date of when exactly you want it to switch over, if for some reason you need to do that. Now, there are just a few things to be aware of. So like I said, it will close your existing current account, so you won't be able to use that anymore. And also remember, if the incentive you go for is one with high interest rates, that will almost certainly be reduced back down to something really low after about a year. I would also recommend staying away from any bank accounts that have an annual fee, because I personally just like to avoid anything with annual fees. But if you really think the fee's worth it and will balance out over time, then go for it. But I personally just like to avoid them. Now this last one's pretty obvious, but 
always read the terms and conditions yourself and don't just take my word for it or someone else's word for it that you've seen online. But I'd just like to emphasize this is something I do and I find it works really well just to make a bit of extra money alongside my other investments. And I hope you guys might find it useful as well. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm basically gonna show you now how you can avoid using the new bank account at all. So to do this, you're gonna use a mobile bank. So I'm personally a massive fan of these mobile banks. I think they're far superior at the moment to the traditional high street banks that are out there. So I'd recommend if you haven't already, get yourself a Monzo account. Other ones are available, but Monzo is my personal favorite and I find it works the best. I have got a video looking into the differences, which I'll put in the description for you guys to check out if you want to. So what having this Monzo account is gonna do is basically be your new current account. It's super easy to use and it's just really intuitive. So by having this Monzo account alongside your new HSBC account, you'll be able to have, say, your two direct debits set up and get paid into that HSBC account every month. And this will make you eligible for that three hundred and seventy five pounds but then just transfer all of the money straight out of it into your Monzo and use that as your daily account. And I find it a lot easier to manage all your finances in Monzo than with any of the other traditional high street bank accounts. So if you haven't got Monzo, I'd recommend checking it out. They're also offering five pounds for joining up if you get referred by someone else. So if you need a referral, I'll put a link down in the description below for that as well. So yeah, it's as simple as that. So with about 10 minutes of your time, you'll be able to get a free 175 pounds. Right guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something too that you might be able to implement into your own life and earn a bit of extra money. Make sure if you did enjoy, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out. And let me know what you thought in the comments. Do you switch your bank account regularly as well? Or is this something you never thought to do, which you now might try? Also guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so that you never miss a video. Take it easy guys and keep saving.